Giga technology is a new area of science that will explore how we can more sustainably and resiliently design, build, inhabit, and operate the largest systems that our species creates, namely cities. Science and engineering at the Giga scale are different than we're used to. These systems have emergent properties, constraints, interactions, and synergies that traditional science and engineering don't measure well. Because city scale systems were designed to solve one problem and have become bigger and more complex over time, we don't understand them as well as we think we do. At the opposite end of the spectrum, nanotechnology research is transforming the fields of material science, medicine, energy, computing, and manufacturing in profound ways. Matter has different properties at the atomic scale which researchers are learning to exploit with great benefits. Much has been spent researching the benefits as well as the hazards of nanotechnology. To the same degree, studying Giga technology will result in equally profound transformations in fields such as architecture, city planning, public policy, civil engineering, and transportation. But to date, very little attention has been paid to Giga technology as a science. In studying Giga technologies, it becomes obvious that they display properties that can't be anticipated from looking at big systems in isolation, but that emerge as a result of big systems interacting with each other as well as with natural, social, and economic systems. Some of these properties are regarded as good and some bad. Beyond improving the design, construction, and operation of individual large-scale systems to minimize the bad emergent properties, a better understanding of Giga technologies will bring to light how to design systems that also emphasize the good emergent properties over the bad, leading to greater sustainability, resiliency, and prosperity. Some examples of Giga technologies are electric power grids, agricultural supply chains, road and highway networks, municipal water systems, and clusters of buildings that aggregate to form blocks, neighborhoods, and cities. Some examples of emergent properties of Giga scale systems are smog, community identity, climate change, rapid technological innovation, flooding, greater economic opportunities, heat island effect, vibrant cultural exchange, concentration of wastes, and increased personal mobility, to name a few. More than half of all the people on Earth now live in cities. By 2050, about two-thirds of humanity will be urban, as greater and greater constraints in energy, materials, water, and climate become evident, we need to think differently about how we inhabit our planet. Our current city's infrastructure can't handle such a large influx of people. The equivalent of 2.5 Tokyos, the world's most populous city, will need to be built every year to accommodate new urbanites at the same standard of living as people in the developed world have come to expect. For many parts of the world which don't yet have developed infrastructure systems, the demand is too high for the supply. The result is an informal settlement pattern with inadequate, unsafe, or even non-existent infrastructure. For parts of the world that can afford it, the current practice of designing, building, and operating infrastructures, one in isolation from another, results in systems that are viable only with huge inputs of fossil fuels, non-renewable resources, and the externalization of costs, risks, and harms. The flip side of that equation is that cities could be the ultimate leverage point to move us toward the sustainable habitation of our planet. Infrastructure mediates how humans interface with natural systems. This mediation must be dynamic because nature is dynamic, but paradoxically, infrastructure is built to last a long time. Nature builds gigascale systems too, but they don't function the way ours do. Ecological systems are flush with emergent properties, yet most, if not all, of these properties seem to enhance the welfare of the greater system. They don't have what we would call waste, but instead a constant cycling of nutrients. They don't require large inputs of energy or water from somewhere else, but run on what is ambiently available to them. They find equilibrium in the face of disturbance, rather than collapse into chaos. 
If natural systems are so great, then why don't we build some of our own? Why is best answered philosophically. A better question is how. Giga Technology will reveal how to apply nature's rules of complexity to how we can sustainably inhabit our cities. The science of ecology might be a good place to start. It blends the fields of geology, biology, and the earth sciences to study how organisms behave with each other, other species of organisms, and with non-living elements of their environment. Ecologists track the movement of materials and energy, individual organisms and populations through living communities. So using ecology as a lens could show us how to shift our thinking from cities as a collection of isolated systems to cities as giga technology. It could be a key strategy toward building a future with thriving cities in the face of mounting constraints, much like ecologists focus on the community of life within ecosystems rather than study just one species. A successful research program in Giga Technology will require not only specialists from a variety of fields, but also generalists and synthesists, all working together in transdisciplinary teams. Ultimately, the study of Giga Technology may reveal that in order to continue to thrive, we humans will have to cooperate and collaborate in unprecedented ways. Since modern times, our creativity has mostly focused on disassembling things for quick yields. Giga Technology may show that assembly is a more sustainable strategy. Assembly is how nature works. Things are brought together and they connect and interact. So what if we focused our creativity on our power of assembly? We might be astonished at the connections we find.